We have breaking news this evening regarding a story we've been following since January regarding the termination of Elmira Police Chief Anthony Alvernaz. WENY News has obtained body camera footage and incident reports through a Freedom of Information request. It all stems from an incident on December 9th, which led to Alvernaz's firing. Take a look. Get on the ground. Get on your stomach. Get on your stomach. I didn't even do anything. I didn't do anything. Okay, okay. Why are you detaining me? Oh, you ain't detained, brother. You're on arrest. Why? What did I do? You tell me. I didn't do anything. I got legs. Uh, uh. Uh, nice jump, by the way. I don't know uh, how the hell you cleared that car. Uh, please. Now, according to officer reports, they responded to multiple 911 calls coming from a home on Riverside Avenue on December 9th. While officers were on the scene at the home, one officer witnessed a man run away from the house toward Horner Street. Now, according to Chief Albernaz's incident report, he was on scene when the foot chase started, and that's when he used an unmarked police car and used it to try to block the man by pulling the car onto the sidewalk in front of him. Now, body camera footage from another officer shows Alvernaz pull in front of the man who leapt over the hood of the car and then fell. The man was then cuffed by Alvernaz that you just saw there on your screen. The body cam footage then shows Alvernaz returning to the unmarked car and removing it from the sidewalk. Now, on January 4th of this year, a thumb drive with footage from that incident was turned over to Elmira City Manager Mike Collins and an investigation was launched. In a letter to Chief Alvernaz, Collins said the conduct in the incident, along with behavior following the days, constituted, quote, unprofessionalism and insubordination. Now, on January 9th, the city gave Chief Alvernaz the option to resign or be terminated. Now, they did not specify what particular act in that day possibly seen on that footage led to this. Alvernaz later said on January 11th, he was not willing to compromise his principles or ethics. Again, he chose the termination by the city. WNY News will continue to follow any new developments on this story.